Let me show you how I designed this beginner friendly flyer in Corel Draw. Please watch to the very end so you don't miss out on any step. Without any further ado, let's jump straight to the video. Welcome to Corel Draw, guys. So, um, basically, all we're going to do now is change our paper size. If you're new to Corel Draw, please go and watch my beginner's class. All right, so you understand every bit of what I'm doing here. So, um, basically, um. What we're going to do now is change our paper size and to do that, um, basically come over to your drawing unit on your property bar and select inches. The next thing you're going to do is go to your drawing unit and change this to um, 1080 by, okay, we are going to make use of pixels instead of inches, all right? So come over to your property bar and select pixels, all right? The pixels and... um. Come over to your page dimension and um, change this to 1080 by 1350. All right. Um, 1080 by 1350. And the next thing we're going to do is select our rectangle tool, double click on it. All right. And um, this is what you're going to have. It will bring itself. Once you double click on your rectangle tool, it will bring itself to this spot. Now you can see that if you shift this box, you will see that we have a um, black outline or a stroke you can call it a stroke or black outline normally i always advise you to take it out because it doesn't fit in your design all right now to take it out come over to this thumbnail over here and um, click on this thumbnail to remove it this one over here stop looking at me and look at your screen please concentrate all right um when you once you do that it will remove as you can see now take it back to the frame using letter p to take it back to the frame now we're going to import our stock images for this tutorial to do that come over to file select import um come over to your download um locate where it's save this is it everything here now click and click on import now click and drag now these are the three images we'll be making use of the logo this radio and this image now, if you come over to this, you'll see the text. This is the notes part. I'll put everything for you guys in the down description below or in the comment section. Now, these are the names of the fonts. So basically what we're going to do now is I'm going to bring in this image, right? Now, um, you guys might think um, we have a lot to do in this flyer. Um, I will not actually do much on this flyer because I love the way the image is being positioned, the way it's the output, the colors, everything, all right? Like this neon light coming from left and right. So I love the way it is. So what I'm going to do basically is very simple. I'm going to right click on this image, select power clip. This arrow pumps up and you power clip it into this frame. Now, somebody asked me, why am I power clipping? everything I have into the frame because you can see our before is going out of frame. Now you can see our after is inside the frame, giving you the same shape of dimension we chose earlier. If you're confused, that means you're not subscribed to this channel. All right, um, first of all, what we're going to do is, you can see we have a very wide cutout over here. So what you're going to do is um, right click on this and select um, edit power clip. Now, once you do that, you can basically scale this this way and bring this this way now copy this image ctrl c to copy now paste it again ctrl v to paste once you do that you see you have two of this now select your shape tool and highlight this two node drag it up this way so once you drag it up you can use your pick tool and um drag this up it will fill in this space you don't do this on all occasions there are occasions you do it on plain backgrounds like this now click on finish now bringing your logo is on white already so we have nothing much to do so we just like i said we're not doing much on this flyer now we're going to place this here and basically let me keep my mic so we we make use of our keyboard now i'm going to basically um lift this to this and bring this down this way take this up this way right make it smaller and um, bring this guy down a bit now this is what you're going to have guys so next thing you're going to do is come over to your text all right copy this ctrl c to copy use your text to 
paste this over here and um, give it a white color for now. Then zoom out. Now this is what you're going to have. So the font you'll be making use of this is called this font. I don't know what it's called, guys. You guys, you can pronounce it fine and good. But this is the font. I'll put the names for you guys. Now, um, basically, break this apart this way. Then use Control plus K to break everything or group it. Now, this is what you're going to have. Scale this up this way. So once you scale it up, um, basically, um, now what you're going to do is let's, 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 let's remove this. Now, this is what you're going to do there, guys. You're going to give it a space in here. All right. Once you do that, right click on this image and uh, convert it to curve. Control Q is the uh, shortcut. Now, select your shape tool. Drag this image, drag it over here. All right. Now, what you're going to do, you guys see this one is actually inside. Now, bring in your ruler, place it here. Then select your shape tool, highlight just this one, and um, bring it up to align everything together. All right. I can delete this and um, use your shape tool, drag this one, close out the spacing a bit. And this is it, guys. That is what you're going to have. Now you can see some text are longer, so that is just the design. That's just the design for now. Now bring in, come over to um this control two. Now drag this guy in here. All right, drag it in here. You can drag it out the game. So we have this. this. Is what you're going to have, guys. So once you do that. Drag this guy in here. And um, basically what you're going to do is right click, select, um, break contour apart. Then what you're going to do is basically select everything then come to your weld or trim. Once you trim it, you can delete these guys. Once you delete it, this is what you're going to have, guys. This is what you're going to have. Now do give the same font to this. It's already on the same font. Bring this one here. And... Um, Reduce this, reduce this, then bring this guy down. Once you do that, bring this guy down here, bring this guy down. And the next thing I'm going to do is do the same to this text. Using your control, drag this one this way. All right, break the control using control plus K or you use right click and do the same. Now I highlight everything. All right, then click on trim and delete this one. So this is the text we're going to make use of. All right, so this is how I basically designed this text. Now, once you do that, select your color dropper two, pick a color from this, then drop it here and drop this guy here. Now, this is what you are going to have, guys. So the next thing we're going to do is come over to our Google and um, type music icon. All right, so basically I can just copy this, paste it here, right? Then um, go to my bitmap. So why am I bitmapping is because I want to reduce this weight. Now select your color mode to RGB, then select OK. Now come over to your bitmap, mode black and white. Some will say it's already on black and white. So why are we converting to black and white? We are about to trace this pin out. So you can see the thickness of this and the thickness of this is different. And the sharpness, they are two different things, right? Now you can click on OK and come over to your trace bitmap, outline trace and line arts. Somebody will still ask, why are we tracing it out? It's because we are, so that we can change the color or manipulate it. So you can delete this. Now you have it without the background. Now reduce this and um, what you're going to do is basically come over to this. Then um, basically, um, okay, let's let's give this let's give this guy a round shape here. All right, then bring this one in here. Then use Shift plus K job to bring it forward. All right, then let's copy a color from here. Let's give it that color. Now this is what you are going to have, guys. And the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to come over to this, copy this text. All right, copy, Ctrl-C to copy. Paste it here. 
The font to be making use of is agency. This one is so simple to pronounce. So please, for those of you who are good in pronouncing text or any font, congratulations. I'm going to bold this. Then reduce this this way, bring it forward here, right? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my shape to drag this here, bring this guy down here. Then I'm going to copy this, give it the same font, all right? Then change it to uppercase, reduce it. What is this same font, 13? So we're going to give this one 13. Then this one is a... Uh, Bring this guy this way. To rotate it, guys, very simple. Double click on it, one, two, and you see this anchor points. Drag it this way and uh, bring it here. So basically, you can reduce this one, but give it the same height. All right. Make sure they are on the same page, guys. All right. So basically, come over to this, copy this one, paste it here. All right, so the font to be making use of this one is called Monsterad. It's a popular serif font, so Monsterad is what we're going to use for this. So we can use the extra bold, reduce this, break it apart using Control plus K, then bring it over here, scale it up this way. All right, then bring this guy over here. This is the address. All right, so for this one, we're going to reduce this guy. Bring in our shape to drag this guy over here, then remove the field, give it white outline. Then this is what you're going to have. All right. So you can leave that one over there and um, basically bring this guy to this part. Then we're going to copy the time. Door opens by eight. Let's, let's paste it here. Now we're going to break this apart, cut this, paste it here. All right, then for this one, we're going to make use of this font. All right, so this is the name of the font we'll be making use of. Bring this one down, convert it to uh, uppercase, change it to uppercase, bring in your shape to drag this guy here, break it apart. As you can see, this one and this one, they are not same. So drag this one up this way, bring this guy here. So this door opens, we're going to play with it, convert it to uppercase or change to uppercase. Now copy it, all right, give a space, paste it, give a space, paste it, give a space again, paste it. All right, now bring in your, um, bring in your ellipse to drag this this way. All right, then select this, select this. Now what you're going to do is drag this word to this. Okay, let me just do this this way. Select this text, select this um, round corner shape or the over shape we have here and um, come to text. Then you will see um, fit to text, fit text to parts. That is it. All right, fit text to parts. This is what you're going to have, guys. Fit test to part. Then you can basically um, add more spacing. Two, two. Two, two. All right. So basically, this is what you're going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to break it apart. Select the text. Break it apart. Then delete the round shape you have there. So once you do that, you can basically select this one. Give it this color, select this one, give it this color, select this one, give it this color, select this one, and um, give it this color. Now, this is basically what you're going to have. So, you can reduce this guy, reduce this guy. Now, basically, you can see it's lagging my system. So, break this apart. Um, sorry, convert it to objects so it doesn't lag your system. Now you can bring this guy over here. Now the next thing we're going to do is um, uh, we're going to just bring our ellipse to here, draw a box over here, give it a white color. 
Now I'm bringing this text and I'm basically type 18 plus, bring it here, give it a red color, reduce it, and um, you can give it a round corner shape. All right, so this is basically what you are going to have, guys, is what you're going to have. So for this one, I'll basically bring it here, all right, then go to my effects, select blur, select motion blur, all right, that's much, select motion blur, then click on OK, then um, you can rotate it this way, reduce it. bring it in here all right but this is actually much so we're going to reduce the motion opacity all right then i think this is this is okay and we're going to flip this one bring another one here then leave that that but let's reduce this reduce this and this is what we are going to have so basically guys this is how um i designed this flyer in corridor if you have the question please drop me a comment in the comment section below and see you guys in my next video